One of Greyhound Racing's success stories remains Harlow. Year-on-year -year improvement in tote turnover and attendances means they are ahead of the game in many ways. And they also recently led the way with their annual awards, which saw the function area of the Essex track fall to the brim and be decked with familiar faces aplenty. Champion trainer Mark Wallace received an outstanding achievement award. Teddy Sheringham was on hand to do the honours here. Another familiar face in the crowd at the Harlow Awards was Eurovision star Andy Abrahams, who led the applause as Kim Marlow collected her award as Harlow's leading trainer of 2009. And she had nothing but praise for the track. I mean, they've um, definitely come from being a small provincial track to um, like really pushing the boat out to try and push the, the bigger tracks, really. They're trying their best, anyway. And even bigger plans afoot. Yeah, I think they want to extend the circumference of the track. They want to push the grandstand up, and you know, if if it comes to fruition, great. You know, it's, at least they're doing the right way. Not, not not a lot of tracks are now, and they are trying. And they seem to be bucking the trend as far as getting the people through the gates. Yeah, it's absolutely chocker here at the weekends. It really is. Um, I don't know by what means they do it. I mean, there's obviously lots of promotions going on, but, you know, they can't knock it because people you still see the same people coming back. So it's good. Yeah, very good. It's a good atmosphere as well, and it's packed, isn't it, everywhere you go. So, yeah, it's good. And your kennels plans for 2010? Um, hopefully go along a similar line. We're only a small kennel and um, try and do our best for the dogs we've got and the owners we've got. That's all we, you can do. And more forays on the open racing? Um, yeah, we've got a few nice dogs coming through, so yeah, I hope so, do, do our bit. The folk at Harlow know how to enjoy themselves, and this annual celebration doubles as a charity fundraiser. Credit must go to the work of people like Morris Newman and Harlow GM Chris Page. Their commendable efforts overseen by track promoter Dave Barkley, who continues to help Harlow grow. Crowds up, record in November on the tote and on the bar. Uh, that's due to the team challenge, which was uh, Mick, Barry, uh, Chris and myself. We've, we've devised something. It's working brilliant. And, uh, well, next year, is, uh, we, can, we already know next year there's only eight Fridays we're not busy halfway through the year. So, yeah, looking good. Still plans to expand? Yes, very much so. I um, uh, don't like saying that I'm going to do this and do that without doing it. I, I, I'm... I prefer to do it and then everyone says, oh look, that's what you've done. So yeah, there are plans, big plans. Back on stage, it's cabaret time for guests who continue to enjoy the success story that is Harlow.